Hey guys, today I'm going to talk to you about The Crown Season 3. I'm sorry about the angle of the, you know, the camera and everything, but that's, uh, you know, just to change it up a little bit. As you can see, it's raining, so that's why my light is on. So yeah, The Crown Season 3 is actually a magnificent, magnificent, excellent piece of television, of streaming. And, you know, it's the crown jewel of Netflix because every single season has been just impeccable. Every uh, single performance, everything about the art direction, the cinematography, uh, the sound, every, even the special effects that they use in some parts of these uh, episodes is, are really good. I mean, everything is just on point. There, there's nothing really to which I can point to say like, oh, that's bad or I don't like that or whatever. I, I, everything is so good in this series. I mean, I, I loved Josh O'Connor as Prince Charles in this season. I mean, Prince Charles is not really the most attractive man in the world, but he made it just a very interesting young man. Uh, and of course, Olivia Colman just uh, recently having won uh, an Academy Award for uh, The Favorite, now has this amazing role for at least two se seasons and I'm hoping she wins everything basically, like uh, her predecessor w w uh, did uh, on the first and second seasons. So uh, that's uh, Claire Foy. Uh, and yeah, Helena Bonham Carter as her sister is amazing. I mean, she. I mean, that, she's a, an amazing actress. She's a kick-ass actress, but she doesn't really has, um, you know, the, the the amount of roles to show off her range. And I think in this series, at least in a couple of episodes, she really shows how much she's able to do uh, with this character and with uh, her, um, you know, her skills, basically. She's really, really good. I mean, everyone is really, really good in this series. Again, I loved especially, uh, um, um, this may be some spoilers, but not really. There are some episodes that are really, really touching and really um, special. And I like when they focus the whole episode on only one character. There's a, an episode about only the queen, only the sister, only Prince Charles, only only uh, the king you know there's uh, like a, a little bit of that uh, more episodes that are a little bit more political others are more like social others are more like her relationship with the people or, or you know every every single thing that you might be interested in uh, if you're into you know ro royalty and all of that so I especially like the episode I don't remember the names of the episodes to be honest I really love the episode where Prince Charles goes to Wales to learn Welsh because he is going to be crowned Prince of Wales and he is going to be the best thing if he knows the language of the Welsh of course and it's really interesting because there are lots of conversations like full conversations in welsh and and i mean i know there's a bbc wales in in the united kingdom and of course i think it, it has content in welsh but it's not a language we really see uh, beyond the uk outside of the world so it's really strange and it's really interesting that you know, they get to show that part of the UK outside of the UK because of course we know, you know, which countries compose the United Kingdom, but we don't really know how different they are among them, themselves. I mean, I know Wales is a little bit less rebellious than Scotland, but that hasn't always been the case, basically. And, you know, the Scots also have their particularities and Northern Ireland and uh, and everything is really uh, different. Yeah, and they have these things. And it's really great that they get to explore that, uh, particularly in the episode. There's another episode called Abervan, who, which is about a disaster that killed many children, which I didn't know about. It is a really touching episode because it, it has a lot of things. It, it, it is very sentimental, it's very objective, but at the same time it's very interesting that they talk more from the point of view of the people that suffered the disaster and not from the point of the view of the royalty. So it's really interesting. There are a lot of episodes like that. Of course, there are things that we know about the royal family, like the death of the would-be king Edward VIII, I think it was. Well, well, the one that had Wally Simpson at his wife, as his wife. Yeah, I didn't know he was so close to Prince Charles. And, you know, uh, it's so weird that they have that connection that uh, they both love a, a woman that they couldn't love and weren't allowed to love. Whereas, and the thing was that, that the first one, the first guy, I mean, he had to sacrifice the throne to be with his wife. 
uh, the Prince Charles was just coerced into abandoning his relationship with Camilla Parker Bowles and we all know how that ended up. He ended up basically killing Diana, Princess of Wales, who shouldn't have been there at the first... I mean, many people are like, okay, and now we know that Camilla should have always been with him, and maybe that would, would have saved so many things, so many lives, so many suffering, so much suffering, I mean, and, and that's interesting, but we wouldn't have the princess that we have now, so it's really, it's really cool to watch that because it's really like paparazzi and, and you know, like uh, all those things that we like about knowing the lives of famous people, which is something that in general I don't care about, but in this series it's very interesting because it really has effects on the lives of people because you know it's the, the UK royalty I mean it's the fucking queen it's Queen Elizabeth II she's a really big uh, character of the 20th century and the 21st century too it shows the UK in a different light and through the lens of the royalty but it shows so much more than that and how people relate to one another and how position and wealth and you know makes you see things in a different way and maybe that you know people are not so different at the end of everything i mean at the end of the day we all suffer the same way through the same things the, sa the only difference is that some have some money to cope and others really don't really have any money to cope with anything and, and money helps let's fucking declare that it's a very interesting series i really recommend watching this third season it's just amazing it's really great and i cannot wait for season four which is going to have gillian anderson play margaret thatcher that's going to be bonkers as they say in the uk so yeah that's my review for the crown season three i hope you liked it i hope you watched that series and of course comment down below what you really thought about this season and like this video and thank you so much for watching please like the subscribe button down below and the bell and all of that thank you so much goodbye